Well alright then, hello there. I know it has been many videos today. Uh, you know, four slime videos and a, an, an SEO video, like... There's, there's just too many things to record at once right now. Uh, just too many info and everything. But anyways, we got Developer's Diary Volume 7. In which they talk about different stuff. How to get uh, more powerful, uh, how to raise your battle power, how to raise your population, you know, of your town and everything like that. So let's get started. So when you build dwellings for your characters, uh, the population of your town will grow. And you'll get 100 magic crystals uh, when you hit certain population milestones, which is very good by the way. So the bigger your town, the more magic crystals you'll earn. And you can use uh, magic crystals uh, to of course recruit new characters, uh, which we already knew. So we're ad adjusting the balance between story quest and nation building gameplay based on data from the closed beta test. So that's pretty good actually. Okay. So they actually don't only want us to, you know, um, farm story which we probably most probably will do more uh, but they're actually uh focusing more and more on nation the actual nation building aspect of the game which is pretty nice uh so as you advance through the main story you'll unlock uh, new buildings to add to your town that's pretty nice and then expecting uh, expanding t uh, tempest in turn will offer you power boosts and raw materials you need to progress in the story that is pretty nice so we hope um, that will help immerse you in the Slime is the Kai world. Uh, okay, alright. So basically, by the way, you can collect these uh, to like this will all of these uh, what you uh, what your buildings will give you basically uh, will be like uh, some kind of mater materials to level either level up your characters or to give your characters uh, and so on. So here are the achievements. Uh, so uh, basically, when you like up upgrade the mayor's house, which will you know be uh, this big uh, house back there, um, it will basically be the main building. You will get magic crystals and of course training quests, and there will be all kinds of quests um, that you will need uh, be able to complete to get free magic crystals, which is pretty nice. Then of course you will get rewards by limit breaking characters. So in Isakai memories characters from 3 star to 5 star reality are able to uh, be recruited. Uh, but they can all be raised up to 6 star. Which is, uh, so they, yeah, I mean what they basically wanted to do is uh, even if your favorite characters don't have a 5 star uh, version. As of yet you can still get them up to 6 star um, even if you... Yeah, even if they don't have a 5 star version, which is pretty nice of them, um, of course, more uh, stuff for us to work on. The memory stones needed to erase a character's rarity uh, can be obtained when you get duplicate characters from the recruit. Yeah, like in every other gacha, basically, uh, when you get dupes of a, a character, you can strengthen them. Uh, and you get memory stones for this Shuna. Yeah, this will be the f uh, free Shuna that we get. Uh, from the uh, pre-registration rewards and then we'll get uh, memory stones for a free Rimuru uh, or we actually don't know if the Rimuru is free but I do guess he is um, so you will be able to really break them immediately which is pretty nice um, so yeah uh, then on raise EP which um, I'm sure uh, some of you are wondering what EP is I mean it stands for existence points, pretty interesting, which are a measurement of strength used in the uh, original work. Oh, okay. Uh, although they aren't featured in the anime, so, uh-huh. I was really set on including EP in the game and thankfully I, I got the go-ahead. So in the world of uh, Slime Isekai, I couldn't imagine using anything but EP as a metric for power, which is pretty nice, you know. Uh, so this will, uh, you know, be a combat power uh, thingy. Uh, it's a good uh, tool for gauging the power level of characters and parties. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. So when you take on a quest, you'll notice a recommended EP figure. Uh, if your party's EP is higher, there's a good chance you can handle uh, that quest. Okay, so I mean, we already know what EP is. Generally, a character's EP rises along with their level. When assembling your party, setting assist and standby characters will also raise the party's EP. Uh, so if you find yourself struggling with a, bo a boss in the early stages of the game, try using assist and standby characters. You'll unlock the standby character slots once you've hit a, a population of 800, uh, and assist characters uh, unlock at 600 population. So if you run into a particularly tough boss, 
uh, I recommend you uh, doing some building in Tempest, okay. Um, so if you raise Great Sage uh, to level 6, you'll unlock par Parallel Processing, uh, which is an auto replay function. Ooh, that is pretty good. That is nice. That is nice to know. Uh, you can use it to replay quests chosen a number of times without lifting a finger. Oh, so we actually won't have skip tickets, right? Like, we, we can just uh, replay quests however many times we want. That is pretty nice. That is very nice. So we can basically uh, take a look at what I was talking about. So this is where you uh, see your EP. And of course, this is where you see your population, which I do guess will basically be the your account level or uh, your EXP. This is the support character. And then this, these will be your characters in the field, these three. And then these will be the uh, backline characters. And um, then on, you can also... Uh, you know, uh, add in some assist characters that will, I guess, give boost uh, to these characters up here. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I mean, it all looks pretty nice. I can't wait to play. Uh, and yeah, this this will be great sage, of course. Um, uh, when you're stuck, basically, you can just, you know, uh, ask great sage what to do, I guess. And um, yeah, I mean, it looks like there will be a 5 star guaranteed pack for 7 days only. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, bas that is basically it for the video. Uh, so now we know how to get stronger. Basic you just basically need to level up your characters, add in these assist characters, the standby characters. Um, I do believe, you know, the standby characters will get switched in once one of these characters die, but we'll see that later on in the game. Uh, other than that, uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.